gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? The show starts in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. The 26th President of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt was a versatile personality who was known for his positions as a statesman, writer, soldier, and explorer. He was also noted for his contributions to the United States. Special note. You can be part of this global tech company on Passive, that believes in people and wants to lift humanity, free, simply register at www.coolzone.ai. Social media's effect on blogging success. Social media promotes blogging, but its many V suggestions and resources can be daunting. Here are some proven social media tactics to boost blog traffic. 1. Know your demographic. 2. Choose platforms. 3. Posting time optimization. 4. Encourage interest. 5. Use hashtags wisely. 6. Work together to reach more. 7. SEO optimize. 8. Tools for social sharing. 9. Repurpose old content. 10. Post niche content. Looking for the perfect social media platform? Onet is an excellent social network that lets users locate like-minded communities through clubs and meet friends. Cutting-edge AI technology has helped Onet grow to satisfy user needs and attract newcomers. Sharing content is easy with Onet, which lets you share photographs, texts, audio, and video. Podcasts, blogs, and scheduling postings make Onet a more interesting social network. Conclusion. Effective social media management for your blog requires in-depth audience knowledge. Careful platform selection. Optimal posting times and active engagement from you and others collaborative opportunities, and an inclusive strategy, including hashtag use, SEO optimization, and social sharing tools, with consistency and authenticity at its core to sustain traffic. Register for free at www.coolzone.ai to join this global AI tech powerhouse that was made with compassion and wishes to enhance humanity. Hello, 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 everybody. Uh... We are here as the 19th of February, and welcome to everybody. Sorry we're late. I could not cram everything I had to get done in a couple hours, so I had more going on than I thought. But anyway, thank you for being here. Uh, I'm going to bring up something. Yesterday I had said that every Sunday, and obviously I had to talk to Chris about it because it will be on his channel too. Every Sunday we're going to... Put a QR code at the bottom of the screen. It will play the whole time we're on. Um, and it will share your, somebody's uh, registration link. Now, what I decided was, I don't want your QR code. Okay, I do not want your QR code. I want people to send me, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a short video. And I'm going to explain what I want and where to send it. It's very simple. If it comes in any different than I asked, I won't use it because I'm not going to go back and explain it again. I'm going to explain it as simple as I can. If I get the information a little bit off, I'm not using it. I just can't. I, I can't. I'll make it as simple as I can because I want to do the simple. And what I'll do is the same QR code will be there just to let you know. But every time somebody clicks on it, a different founder that that watches our show, they will be that will be their QR code for that time, which is pretty cool. What will happen? I don't know, but in the long term, videos never disappear on YouTube. So as we go and it grows and more and more people are involved, they can click on that 
next QR code five months from now, a year from now. So I, I was talking with Chris and talking about helping people, enhancing people, lifting you up above ourselves. I wanted to do this because I thought that would be a good uh, a good gesture on our point, our part. Uh, I'm not worried about building. I'm not worried about getting all that. So anything I can do and Chris can do to help, that's what we wanted to do. So like I said, you'll see the same QR code, but it's in a rotator. The rotator's behind the QR code. Click it, new and new, more people. Now, I want to tell you something else. If you don't come to our lives, please don't share this with people that don't come here. I want to focus on people that are, you know, have been courteous and, and loyal to come into our lives. So please don't share it with the whole thing. I don't want, there's no way I'm going to do a million links. So please try to keep it here. Don't share it. It's not, it's not for that. I want to I want to do it to people that have been dedicated to come here for years now. So that would make a big deal. That would that's what I want to that's what I want to do to return. Now we had started last year shining the light on others. Now that's good, but it was a little more, it was a lot of work, a lot more work than I thought. And and the problem was I already when I do a live run on a webinar, I take up my living room and the kids grandkids are in the other room. They have to be quiet. And Dawn's sitting about five, three feet from me. Uh, she's in every live, not necessarily wanting to be here, but she is. So I don't, I don't want to take any more time when I thought I could do, we could do much bigger impact just by sharing your registration link. Okay. I will have the details. It will be in a video. I'll play that video tomorrow and then you could look at it and say, okay, I got it. I understand what the, it's going to be very simple. Very, very simple. Just, you're going to send me something. I'm going to put it in. We're done. And then every Sunday at the bottom will be a QR code and it'll be all about us lifting you, everybody here up for, because that's what I want to do. And that's what Chris wants to do. So anyway, besides that, uh, lock one on behind the scenes. I know we can't see it, so we assume you know they're all sleeping in hammocks and drinking mai tais, but that's not what's happening. That's what I'm I did, doing. <laughs> I did send to Ash last night. We're praying for you, brother. Everywhere I go, people talk about praying for you and the company. But he wrote back and he said we had probably the most productive day in 2024 yesterday, which is good news. They're they're moving as fast as they can. It doesn't do me any good, you any good, anybody else any good. Just think they're holding back. There's no holding back. None. I'm going to emphasize this again. When they put a pause, it cost the company unbelievable amount of money. And I know people maybe don't get it. They don't understand it. I want you to think about this. Let's just think about what could have happened. September 1st, the product came out. We all buy it. The merchant can handle it. 90 days later, we have different packages. We now have another product and maybe two more products. And we are off to the races. I mean, off to the races. People are getting paid. Commissions are getting paid. Bonuses are getting paid. Everything that we talked about in the last five years, we're starting to see it happen. And that is going to be so exciting. What things happened? If Mr. Mupara was on a table that he owned and everything he needed was on that table, it would all be done. But it's not. Some of the stuff is not part of Unpassive. It's not in the reach. It's not inside this, this home Unpassive. He has to reach outside to use an outside source. It's just the way it is. One of them is laws. You know, I'm going to do this and this and this. You're going to do whatever the law says you can do. And Ash wants to be above board. We, He's been in companies I know I have. He's been in probably more than I have. Companies that, that just weren't honest. And they just were deceiving. And he wants to make sure that it's clear to everybody, clear to all the governments, clear. And, and he's going out of his way to find legally the best way to pay us the most he can.
that is the most bizarre thing I ever heard. Now, there is a, the only thing that keeps some people from the way I think and most of you think, and that's belief. I believe. I have no reason not to. Everything he's done or said or the company's done is bigger and better than what I thought it was. Do I wish everything went smooth September 1st? Absolutely. Where the heck would we be right now? But I also know it was not nothing to do with on passive and what we did. It's an outside source. Now, the day will come that we log in. This is my opinion. I do not work for the company. I have to put that disclaimer in because people seem to think, you know, I, I'm in working in the company. I'm getting a salary. Well, if I am, I can't find it. Okay? Somebody's hiding it from me. So my opinion is when, when all this is done, I want you to think of like a, a sphere, a uni, a big sphere. Inside there is unfastened. That's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and engulf the world. I'm not taking pie in the sky. I believe that by what they're doing. It's not the building blocks of unpassive are visual. You, you don't even have to be able to read. You can look at what they're doing, what they're signing, people that are joining us. and all, You can see it. Now, I'm, good enough for me. If I can see that I'm thinking you're building something that strong at the bottom as a foundation, what the frick is going to be stacked on top? All kinds of good, okay? You know, all kinds of good. You got to build it on a rock. Even going back to the Bible with Peter. Upon you, I will build my church, he told him. Because you need that foundation. You don't want to build it on sand, it'll sink. So, really powerful stuff. I love that. I know I go over the same stuff, but I, I realized had a long conversation with somebody I really respected years and years ago. He was an elder in our church, one of the most respected people I've ever met. Died believing 100%. And he said, we have a gift from God called choice. It's a two-edged sword, though. You could choose to be negative, go after people, always look at the bad side of things. Everything's the glass is half full. Some people, the glass doesn't have any water in it. And then there's the other side. I think it's the same as brightness and darkness. Some people just love to live in that area. I don't know why. I was talking to some people on the webinar last night that don't confuse negativity with people being afraid. A lot of people got burnt online. So their automatic defense, their shield, is to sound negative. That way you stay away from them. And I tell people, look, plant the seed. I've shared this with tens of thousands of people. Tens of thousands, no doubt about it. Does everybody say yes, no? But unless they say, unless they don't come in in the next five years, I believe everybody's coming. Every Different time for everybody. I saw it. I asked four or five questions. I don't go to Google and think that's the Bible. Never. I never go to Google and say, this is the word of the world. No, it's a, it's a search engine and it tells you information that's most popular. It's not a truth engine. I keep saying that. You could go look up me right now. I'm on some video channels. And it's not a very good light. Okay. Yeah, they're not bragging about me. They're making fun of me. But that's part of life. That's the way things are always built since man's been around. That goes back to choice. God gave us choice. He also gave us memory. And sometimes it fades. You know what fading memory is? It's probably a good thing. It's a good thing. Because when somebody passes away, like my mother, if I felt that grief I felt the first five, six, seven months, I don't think I could live. But it fades away, and it is replaced with good things in life that you remember. That's why I say, when you when you, let's say when we have the money and we we have the choices and all that's done, you don't have to worry about the money side of it. You're going to look back later on and say, especially us, I was in the journey of unpassing. I was there then. That's cool to me. But anyway, uh, 
questions are usually sounded and believed that what Marty said, jelly snack. Don't know what the world's talking about. <laughs> that seems, anyway, um, so I just want to say that. I'll come clear what, what you need to do to get part of that Sunday shining on people on Sunday. Um, like I said, things are moving ahead. They're moving, they're moving as fast as they can. Trust me. I've been in a lot of companies that did things fast. I can't find them now. They're nowhere on the internet. They disappeared. They came fast and they disappeared fast. You want to be around a long time, you got to build it right. You have to build it right. And, and, and I want you to think about this. Alice has got teams doing separate things to add to this bohemian company that we're in. I mean, there might be a problem, an, an issue here, and you think, oh, everybody. No, not everybody. The people he has assigned to that are working on it. Boom. When he leaves that meeting, he takes a handle, puts on a new one called ONET or uh, OTracker or OTRIM. It's different companies. Mr. Mufar and his family and all the people he's with are building Many, many companies on one platform. The name of that is on pass is spelled with capital letters. <laughs> That's fact. And the beauty of that is all of that, all of that is being done in our name. If you can wrap your head around that, I think you'll let go of a lot of stuff. Really, I do. I am so blown away over all of that. Do not send me QR codes. Don't send me anything yet. Some people will send it to my regular email. I'm deleting it. I have a special email for that. I will tell you exactly what I need you to do. Just wait until I tell you. Some people know already and they're doing it, but I want to make sure it's very clear because I know some people that never come to the channel, they never involved, that they're going to want me to put their link up here. And that's not fair to you guys who's here every day or most every day. And I know who's here. Anyway, off of that, make sure, but I do have to say one thing. This is really important. This is important. One of the biggest leaders in Unpassive, big influence in, I think, more than 50% of the company, Mr. Gerstmender's birthday is today. <laughs> um, I was going to invite him on, but by the time he wrote back and told me, yes, it is my birthday, I the communication stopped. But anyway, this is his birthday. Uh, he's in India. Yeah, I think he's in India because of his birthday. Yeah. But I've learned, uh, we, me and Chris were fortunate, we really got to start to know Gersbinder. And he's a good guy. He's a lot of fun. Chris said he was a blast to be with when they went to Boston. I I mean. Yeah. So anyway, we're all working together. We're all one family. Some of us are tall, some of us are short, some of us have darker skin, some of us look like chalk, like Chris, some of us have I'm black holes. Am I? I'm really white, aren't I? Yeah, you're white. You're, you're like you're like a 30 year old dog turd. You know how they turn white in the yard? <laughs> I'm just kidding, <laughs> guys. I'm sorry, I forgot I was live. Anyway, Chris isn't a turd. All right, because I'm going to get the hate mail. That was kind I of can't funny. believe you called him a turd. No, he's not. He's, he's something else. I am certain. white, though. Wow, I look like a ghost. I am in Florida. Hey, what's happening, folks? Yeah, happy birthday. You, you, you shouldn't be getting whiter. You shouldn't be getting whiter in Florida. You know what I like about people? Uh, white people want to get darker. Dark, dark people want to get lighter. What the freak? My grandchildren are mixed, right? They're African-American and white cracker all right beautiful complex though right no i mean look their skin is perfect they got a built-in suntan all the time <laughs> anyway what really matters guaranteed all of us bangladesh my family around the world and i call you family and i mean it uh my family around the world my sister by the way i want to let this out she's in on passive but just in vicariously through me she knows what's going on she had the eye problem 
she was overwhelmed about the amount of people that prayed for her. So I'm like, gosh, how many people, how many people do you know? And I said, you have no idea. I don't know how many people I know. But anyway, um, so that's pretty powerful. Anyway, keep praying for uh, Robin. Got a lot going on. And she's she's going to be fine. But keep praying for her. And uh, what else I'm going to say? I believe Red's coming on at, at 11. Fun day Monday, I believe. It should be fun day Monday with Red and Jane. And okay. Chris, I'm sure at this point, he's going to make fun of Jane. Jane, it wasn't me. I know it's coming. He can't help himself. Hold on, let me uh, text. Let me text Red. <laughs> anyway, guys, I just want to say any news that comes out, obviously look in the back office. They're gonna post it on the updates. Come here and show everybody how what a handsome kid you are. No, get close. There you are. Take your hat off. Say my name is Shorty. My um, this isn't a hat. All right, it's a hoodie. Whatever. <laughs> no, your name's. Uh, well, tell me your full name. Jordan Jones. How old are you? Eight. Can you can you do math? Yep. How much is four and four? Eight. How tall is his brother? How tall is your brother? Six foot. He's a monster. How tall are you? Four foot. With a name like Shorty, you're going to ask him that question? <laughs> no, but you know, you're not going to stay short, are you? Show him your muscles. You got to see this. Look at that. Uh, Look at that. Popeye arms. Popeye oh, arms. He's, he's, got, he's got pythons. <laughs> All right, thanks, Shorty. I love you, buddy. Be a good boy. I would show Dawn, but she'd be all mad at me if I wing that camera over there. <laughs> anyway, um, love everybody. By the way, uh, I don't know how to say this. I'm going to say this politically correct as I can. We beat the women to death last night. To death. To death. There, thirty to ten. Thirty to ten. And 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 by thankful, Julie Pierce giving us real easy questions the problem is the women are so smart they can't figure out the easy questions so we just <laughs> <laughs> no it was, I, listen i don't i don't care that i really don't care that much about when i like i like i'm not it's fun it's absolutely fun I'll um a, i'll be a little i want to win i don't want to lie of course i want to win i'm competitive hey casey's hey come here i'm sorry guys i'm goofing off i feel like goofing off <laughs> Come here, Shorty. I felt like goofing up. Come here, hurry up. Guess who's here? Casey Zebenberg. And give me a good one. What do you got in your mouth? Oh, great guns. Put it on me. Okay, you ready? Loud. Casey Zebenberg. There we go. Good one, shorts. Very good. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm done now. Uh, I'm pretty excited because you want to know the truth? My whole life. I go a lot by what I feel and what's going. I feel big things are coming really, really soon. And then I look at Chris and it kind of drag. No, I'm just kidding. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, over 540 people here watching us. I, I really appreciate it. I'm going to, uh, if you have something kind to say or something positive, I'm going to pin it so everybody can see it because we love you all yvonne finn said way to go shorty people love you shorty you're a you're a superstar worldwide they love you shorty yeah and um by the way anything to say or something positive or whatever i'm gonna i'll click on it and it'll show at the bottom i'm gonna turn it over to chris and he's gonna give you the rendition <laughs> of Ray. How, how the world turns Oh. I don't know what he's going to say. In fact, he doesn't either. See how he's holding? Hey, guys, look what happened to him. You know why that pillow's there? He's hiding my gut. <laughs> because the guy shouldn't be eight months pregnant. That's why. <laughs> not that bad. Come on. No, you're not that bad. You look like a freaking... I don't know why. Honestly, though, I look like Casper the Ghost. I've never seen myself this white. 
Now, um, Lucci loves when I look nice. She says it looks I look like a cake. She doesn't like me tan or nothing. And I love you tan, but I'll be honest, this is going on for the third day now of cold and solid. Well, it's raining again, solid rain. It rained for two straight days. And I'm talking not just a trickle. It rained. You can ask uh, anyone that lives in Florida. Hold on. Mm. Coffee. Anyone that lives in Florida, it's just like swampland out here. I'm looking for the gators walking by. It rains so much out here. So I'm in the country. But um, I do have a funny feeling, which I don't get a lot, that something might happen this, this week. That's my opinion. Uh, but I still say stay excited because, listen, it's not unpassive that's that's holding us right now. It's something to oh. do with getting unpassive going, but it's, uh, unpassive is running like a perfectly oiled uh, machine or clock or however you want to say it. A lot of people are asking me about the pending, the withdrawals. Guys, if you, if you haven't figured out by now, excuse me, too much coffee. One of the issues is right now is money. It's currency for around the world. And I'm sure, and I don't know that for 100%, but I'm sure that's what he's battling right now. It has nothing to do with a passive, but it does have things to do with uh, getting us started here. And I got to believe Ash, because we have not bothered him at all. Marty texted him last night. I refused to bother him. I did bother Muhammad Kamal on a few things yesterday. Uh, but as far as everything in a passive is working perfect, because a lot of people are saying, what's wrong? What's wrong? I There's nothing wrong. It just has to be right. How's that for an answer? There's nothing wrong. It just has to be right when he does it. When Ash turns on the switch, flicks the button, you know, pulls the lever, lever, whatever you want to say it, uh, it's on. You'll know it's fixed. Uh, when I come to the Bahamas, absolutely I'd go to the Bahamas. I'd love the Bahamas. So it's not in my bus, I won't, but... Uh, it's he might try. Coffee. He might try. Yeah, oh. If it keeps raining, I might float over there. <laughs> uh, but it's one of those things where I'm, I'm letting people know right now is it's time to sit back, go watch a movie. It's raining here. I'm going to clean this bus. I'm going to watch a movie probably. Relax a little bit. Uh, I, I, I'd like to go fishing. I, I can, There's a mile down the road. I can go fishing in the river there, Salty River. And there's things I just can do. But I wouldn't sit here and worry about it. You don't need to check your phone every five seconds. You're going to drive yourself crazy. I would every hour check the back office for the pop-up. That's something that I always look at. Um, because that's where he's going to say, guys, I'm coming on. Or this is happening. Or check your wallets. Or check your withdrawals. I still say what Ash said is please keep checking your O-mail and your email. For things that are coming at you. That's, yes, Chris is still touring. <laughs> I'm just stuck a little bit here. Uh, but keep checking those emails. Um, a lot of people, for some reason, are real like, oh, my God. There is no, oh, my God. It's when Ash gets this completely. Per Let's see, Ash and Muhammad Kamal right now, I guarantee you are doing are doing 16-hour days, literally. Uh, uh, more more, more yeah. sometimes. Yeah, and, and, and it's nonstop. I guarantee the the uh, lawyers uh, for governments all over the world are definitely keeping busy saying, what do we got to do here? Let's do this. But this isn't one thing. This isn't one thing where they go to a party store and they order balloons. He's got to go to every party store in the entire world and make sure those balloons have the right amount of air in them and, and they look good. Uh, but it's not unpassive. Don't think that. But what it is, is something special that he has to do. Because if he doesn't do it, it's not going to work out like he wants. His goal is to give you as much as he possibly can. If you don't know that by now, well, then you're really not a founder. But Ash Bafar's goal is to pay you as much as he legally can, better than anyone has ever done before. That was one of his uh, dreams and goals, which he's already showed us that's happening. Uh, he does have... Four or five products that he said is lined up, ready to go. But we have, listen, <laughs> how do I say this? Ash is not going to release products right now if the pay structure has a little uh, a little fight left in it where they have to get it right. He has to get it right. That's why things aren't being released right now. What good is it to uh, launch four or five more products, which money is not working right now? That That's the truth. I'm being straight up honest about this. And this is my opinion. 
You know, if you can't pay out people right now because of certain situations, he's not going to release products. Uh, as far as when this thing runs out on O-Connect again, could be an extension. We don't know. We won't know until he comes on and tells us this stuff. Do I think he's going to come out this week? I think he might. But if he don't, it's not going to break my heart. It just knows he's working a little bit harder. So just stay plugged in. Check your back office every once hour, couple hours. Uh, if something happens, I promise you, myself, Marty, Red, and the other the loudspeakers are going to come on and they're going to let you know what's going on. We can make one post and within five minutes, it's all over the world. We've proven it before. We could do one live. He could, we'll end up down the river somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Terrell. Say, hey, Rob, taking off your hat. Uh, but that's what it's all about. Uh, if you notice me and Marty are having a lot of fun, because if we can't give you information, we still want to keep you informed and still want, want you to let you know that we're here always. Marty's coming up with this great idea. And Roy Davies, you're going to have to resend that because that's not what he wants. Listen to what Marty puts out for these directions as far as helping. Again, going above and by, uh, beyond trying to pick people up above this RV. I know if I could put you on the RV and drive you around Florida and say, click on them, click on them. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm sitting here in a, in a bus, an RV. It's raining. It's yucky out. And I'm still happy because I know what's coming at me. I definitely know what's coming at me. And when it does come, woof, it's going to be a blast. Uh, my daughter's coming on the 23rd. So she's going to be here for a week. And then after that week is over, I will be back to uh, probably traveling around Florida for a little longer because there's a lot of founders that I haven't met. I haven't seen Ash Mafara, but I don't plan on seeing Ash Mafara. Uh, if he gets freed up, absolutely. But it's not priority to me. My priority is for the founders in Florida to meet them, uh, maybe have lunch, grab a coffee, you know, do a crazy live. That's what it's all about for me. Uh, I probably won't do it publicly. I will be doing private telling people privately, hey, I'm heading your way. And then when we're in that area, we'll get out and do a crazy live. Uh, the goal is protection and safety, not just for myself, because there's still people out there that don't like me. I don't know why. I mean, how can you not like me? But my safety is also... I uh, Hold on. I have a list. We'll go over that after the <laughs> webinar. I'm joking, everybody. <laughs> so it's the thing is we don't want anyone to get in injured. We all know there's stupid people out there. All right? Dumb people that just don't like us for some reason. The God, I don't know why, but they just don't like what we do, and they'll do whatever they can to try to mess it up. We don't care about those people. I do care about them, but they're not. Listen, I will roll right over you if you get in front of me. Let's put it that way. I have no fear. I got lots more ribs to break, and if that's what I got to do to roll by a negative person, I will do that. So, And I am doing much better. You can see my breath is, is back. Uh, I just have a little bit of pain. Not bad, but hopefully by uh, Friday. When my daughter gets here, I'll be a lot more active and, and hopefully running around and the sun's out. So, but listen, just stay, stay in the now, stay prepared because when it comes, you're all going to be smiling. And I can't wait. I really, I, that's my first thing. When this, when Ash gets this going, we're going to do some webinars just to see the smiles, just to see all the people that were so worried, watch that stress get off their face. It'll be a lot of fun, but say a lot of prayers for Ash Mafar and Muhammad, uh, the whole team. Uh, because they can always use prayers, a little help, a little guidance from the good Lord above. <coughs> and we're going to let it rip. So, Marty DeGarmo, all I got, and I got to drink more coffee. Back to you. <laughs> Every gold brick road off of bed. So <laughs> Who do you get these guys? <laughs> you spit on the camera. I'm going to say something. <laughs> Anyway, a couple. I just want to emphasize again, and I do this a lot. And the reason I say stuff over and over again is because humans need to hear it, including myself. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's proven fact. Um, there's 30, 37 million dollars that they talked about paying out this month, next month, whenever, as soon as they can. But I want you to keep in mind, and this is my opinion. I do not work for the company, so let me tell you my opinion from <laughs> from the picture that's being put together now, even with some of the puzzle pieces missing. If they pay the $37 million, that is going to kick in off to the races again. Do you understand what I'm saying? Think about this for a minute. If you take a bowling ball 
and you roll it down the hill, it'll it'll read a, it will reach a max speed. But at the bottom, it's the same size. If you take a snowball and you roll it down the hill, it gets bigger, faster. Okay, so the company has to think, how can we get these commissions out? And by the way, they're thinking about getting commissions out so much that they stopped all payments coming in to buy uh, O-Connect. Wrap your head around that. What company would do that? No one, no one. They can handle the crypto because it was only trickling in anyway. Yeah. Because they do all the calculations. What would I need to do? And I'm going to put my brain, try to, at that scale. Even if I bring the scale down, 3,700 instead of 37 million, whatever it is, I have to pay that. I, I know that's coming again. And guess what? Even bigger. So if I only put a Band-Aid on it and I'm even able to pay you the 37,000, hashtag 37 million, I have to be able to not only pay that again, fairly quickly, but it's even bigger. And when that's done, guess what? New product comes out, more people involved, more people are buying. <clears throat> Someday, the 37 million becomes 370 <laughs> million. I, I'm just saying, wrap your head around that. So yeah, he, they, they're they doing whatever they can so that they can pay. They put different merchants. We had crazy names, but it worked. It worked fairly well. But what do they really want? Boom, 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 boom. They want to be able to roll that snowball down the hill and watch it get bigger, faster. Think about what I'm saying, bigger, faster. So it's rolling, it gets bigger, and the bigger it gets, the faster it rolls. Next thing you know, you've got this enormous thing rolling down the hill taking up much snow every time it turns around. Same thing with Lomkasa. I hope that makes sense. I want you to think about what I'm saying. This isn't a, okay, pay the 37 million and you're done. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> I'm not sorry. I'm happy. That's going to happen again, bigger and faster. Bigger and faster, bigger and faster, bigger and faster. That's going to happen as soon as this thing gets rolling, if they can take that bottleneck, which is not in our control right now because we don't do banking and all that internally, and make it bigger, lights out. They know, and I know, I'm, this is my opinion, it's going to go viral. Viral, you need to be able to move back and forth <coughs> hundreds of millions of dollars, maybe eventually billions that's crazy everybody and where's and that money why... where's that money going to <laughs> i'm just kidding yeah everything's coming to me I'm just kidding. <laughs> think about it 30 listen one time deal 37 million dollars <laughs> two million people in a holding tank where the hell do you think all this is going to it's going to be shared amongst all the founders. Does anyone forget that? And we're talking about basically you all got freaked out about one product. Imagine the other ones that are coming our way. It's going to be like a nonstop turn on the shower, turn on the faucet, and things are going to be dropping on you constantly. You, you, if you've been online very long, you've always heard it's really good to have more than one stream of income. Go to the plumbing department in your hardware store <laughs> and look at all the faucets. That's what you have in Unpassive. There's faucets we don't even know about. Right. And all you need to do to have something come out of that faucet is in it to win it. You need to own it. You need to own the faucet. <laughs> if you own the faucet, it's over. And you know what's really nice about it? The water or the... <laughs> <laughs> money that comes out of that faucet is taken care of by the company. All I got to do is open it. Yep, I want that. Boom. Okay, you own that faucet. Thank you. And that faucet just keeps flowing water. Guys, this is beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. I'm just kidding. But no, I, I think about at least what I'm saying. Give me a thumbs up if you 
have an idea what me and Chris are talking about, because it really means a lot to me that you understand that even if I don't know the exact term, words, the exact thing going on, I don't think it matters. That's all you can understand. Yeah, this is it. And, and, and think about this for one minute. I'm going to go where I dare not go, but I'm going to go there briefly. Last year, they had already paid out $2 million. Hmm. We get into this year, and it's February. And, and in January, they already knew somewhere last month, the end of last month, we got $37 million to pay. 37 plus 2 is 39. If they're paying $39 million, and I'm assuming somewhere around 50, 52, 53% of the people bought O-Connect, what the freak are they paying us? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't need to know the exact math because you could fumble a couple numbers around. This is massive. What they're trying to do is massive. I don't want a flash in the pan. Do I need the money? Guys, I just showed Chris my grandson. <laughs> Okay, he's six foot tall, 230 or 40 pounds, size 14 going on 15 shoe. And when he eats, I can hear cha-ching. It, it just, <laughs> it goes cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. The other day, Dawn made hot dogs for the kid, hot dogs and all that, right? Two or three packs, the unbelievable amount. Shorty ate his one hot dog. Alexis ate two, I think Dawn had one, I can't have them. He ate six. And like about an hour later, he goes, yeah, I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, that's what I'm feeding. So don't act like you don't <laughs> think I need money. Uh, I'm joking a little bit. I love the kids. But I just want to let you know, I, I get it, okay? I get it. And I have things going on in my life. All of my grandchildren have issues just from things going on in their lives. And we're working on each one. Dawn runs around all day. Every day, all day, every day. She's got two appointments today and, and they got little special needs for all of them. It's just the way it is from what happened and what's going on. But what do I do? I'm not focused on what's on passive doing. Life's too short. I know on passive is in good hands. So let it go because very soon, very soon, everybody, this I do know that snowball's going to start rolling down the hill. And when it gets to the bottom and it crashes, they roll it again. And they roll it again and roll it again. And every time, there's more and more and more and more. $37 million we're going to pay. $50 million, $100 million, $150 million, $200 million, five million. And, and everybody's thinking, Marty, you're acting like an idiot. We have one product. We haven't, not everybody even purchased that yet. Think about what this is going to ignite. You get money in people's hands. And I'm not saying everybody. The intent of the company was that you pay two times and the rest of the time it comes out of your profits. Nobody, nobody in, on the planet wants back to work more than Mr. Mufar. If you think it's me, if you think it's Chris, Red, or anybody <laughs> other than Ash, you are sadly mistaken. I'm not saying that because I think so. I'm saying it because it's 100% the truth. I'm saying it. I mean it. I know how he thinks about that part of it. So, but they got to do something that's more long term, something that works because it's not going to go away. More people are going to come in. Let me tell you what happens when success, and a lot of times we judge success by how much income we make. When that is going out to the world. They have the best products. That's a great thing. That'll sell itself. But if you go up to somebody or your family that thought you were a complete idiot and they're saying, where did you get that? Well, because I'm on passive. I was able to do this. Not money. I was able to do that. You don't have to mention money. When people come to your new home and they go, what the freak? Oh, that's because of I'm passive. And let me tell you something, one of the most powerful things of all. We know the industry says that 2% or all, only 2% make money online. What's going to happen when you're able to see that, able to say that 
98 to 100 percent people make money in on pasa affiliates where are they going to go freaking three blind mice will come in you won't be able to stop them so anyway i i hope we're making sense to you because it, it drives me insane i want people just to know what i know and i don't know everything by the way i don't ask ash i, I just say ask many people praying for you thank you brother one of the most productive days of the year. Fantastic. Love to hear it. Now, could I go, hey, when am I getting paid? I mean, I, I, I don't do that. He doesn't need to hear that. It's not somebody that you got to go, hey, you know, you owe us money. He <laughs> knows exactly what's going on. He stopped yeah. everything until he gets that fixed. No company would do what Mr. McFarland just did. Nope. Every time they pause, it costs the company money millions of dollars. The merchant thing, not only the money they held, the money that they didn't make because of that is in the tens of millions. My opinion, tens of millions. Yep. Okay. So anyway, I'm probably going too far, but sometimes I do that. Anyway, I want, I, I want to tell everybody, thank you for being here. We had 600 people. What? 1055. Red's, yeah. Red's on the edge of his seat. And yeah. Jane, what, what is Jane saying right now, Chris? She's saying, Red, are they still <laughs> talking, Red? <laughs> That's not me. I would, say, uh, I would say Red's pulling the hair out of his head, but too late. I'm, I'm afraid of Jane. I'm afraid of women. I ain't doing that. 600 <laughs> people here today. You guys are number one. I'll see you tonight. Hey, any, any men that know trivia, you're welcome. Women, you're... You don't need to come. We love you, but you don't need to come to trivia. They have enough already. And I'll see you all later. Thank you very much, Red. Go see Red. He's going to have a great show. They have a lot of fun. Love you all. And I hope, I hope from the bottom of my heart that we inspired you to at least think. Anyway, see you.